These are sea turtle eggs. And there are two ways this situation can play out. There's either or there's So how can we make sure this doesn't end up like this? Well, take a look again. These aren't your ordinary sea turtle eggs. These eggs could one day take down an entire poaching network. The story of these eggs starts in Ann Arbor, Michigan. Hi, I'm Kim williams Guillen, and I am a conservation ecologist. Kim does research on a wide variety of animals, but we're here to talk about endangered and threatened sea turtles. With sea turtles in Central America, there's an issue of poaching of the nests for consumption of the eggs. And so, her team has developed a unique solution to gather more information about the poaching trade. Fake eggs with GPS trackers. We can hide these fake turtle eggs in sea turtle nests. Our hope is that these eggs will get poached along with the others and transmit information on their locations. Where is it that they go after they're taken from the beach? But for this to work, the fake eggs have to be convincing. They have to have the right feel because sea turtle eggs are kind of a little soft and squishy. They're not like chicken eggs. We've been using a 3D printer and a kind of flexible plastic, but they still don't look quite right. And this is when our story moves to Los Angeles. Hello, I'm Lauren. And Lauren works in Hollywood. My day-to-day -day job is I work on set as a makeup artist, which could be beauty makeup, prosthetics, creature design, wigs, blood. So it made sense for Lauren to help Kim make fake eggs. We needed these eggs to look realistic, to feel realistic. And so that's kind of where I've come in. It was like the best way that I could use my skills making prosthetics, but to actually like help a whole species of turtles, it was like, it's a dream job. After months of revisions, it's time to put these eggs to the test in Costa Rica. Hi again. You remember Kim. She's here to deploy the eggs herself on a protected conservation area. This is a place that's very special because it's a very important nesting site. Tonight, a sea turtle will come and I can test out putting the false sea turtle eggs in the nest. Not only will this project provide Kim's team with valuable information on poaching, she and Lauren hope it will inspire others as well. Wildlife poaching can be abstract or too depressing to even think about. Something about this project kind of captures people's attention. Here's this very simple, unique solution that I think then serves as a jumping off point for people's imaginations to learn more about this trade. All of us working on this project are just doing it in our, our weird little nooks and wherever we can. And it just goes to show there's so many little ways that everyone can help. You don't have to be making fake turtle eggs to make a difference. You can make a difference in your own way.